So the Kraker Toa is probably the best legendary weapon of the bunch and today I will explain to you exactly how this one is obtained. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now I'm pretty sure most if not all legendaries are locked at some point or another behind completing the story campaign. So if you are following this guide and at some point you can't progress, that's the reason why. So the Kray Katoa is a great, great legendary weapon. I mean, just look at this thing. It's got to be one of the best looking in the game without a shadow of a doubt. Now to get this would normally be quite a trek, but hopefully with my help, you get this ASAP. So this legendary is tied to a specific missing persons case. The sixth one to be exactly specific now this means you must complete five prior in order to get the sieve so let's quickly run through these missing persons cases okay so these are started and picked up within a hotel checkpoint within the ocean avenue area so the first three available here for you will be jamal davis and laura so let's start with Davis. So here you need to head to Venice Beach, then to this point to investigate within these buses of any sign of Davis. Upon picking up this, you now have to go to the pier area, to this point right here. Now within this area you will find Davis, unfortunately now he's basically a crusher and you need to take him down to complete this one. Next up guys is Laura, for Laura guys you need to head to Venice Beach and go to this point right here. Going into this building via the rear door, when in here you need to unlock this magnet lock door. To do this guys you need to take out these two circuits. Within here you will find a cell beholding Laura, but you now need the keys. To get them follow this quick path I take, uh, where you get to a zombie who you need to take out, he drops the keys for you. Grab them then head back to that cell. Upon coming back and opening the cell door, you now have to take down Laura and Cole. So get this done guys, and this case is sorted. Next up we have Jamal. Here guys, you need to head to the Halpern Hotel, to this point right here. Now once you are here, you will have to take out zombies surrounding this security guard hut. Once you have, open the door of your taking out these two circuit boards. Then go in and grab what's needed here. Then progress to the second security hut and basically here guys do the exact same then go in and grab what's needed. You now need to locate Jamal who can be found right here who you will now have to take out. 
Upon doing this, he drops keys, uh, which you will use to open up the stash within his truck just nearby. And then, guys, the third missing persons quest is done. So that was Jamal. Now, guys, you need to head back to that missing persons board within the Ocean Avenue Hotel. Waiting for you here will be two more missing person cases. We have Greg and Pablo. So let's run through them quickly. So Greg is found within the Ocean Avenue area right here on the map. This one is a little bit of a pain in the ass because of the amount of exploding gunk that you will come across. Uh, but once you've way, made your way down here, sorry, you have to help with the shutters so Greg can release himself. You need to do this guys by using this circuit breaker. Then guys head to him and take out all the zombies. At the end of it guys he doesn't quite make it, but at least the quest is completed. Ok so I'm moving on to Pablo. So Pablo is located within Venice Beach, where firstly you have to find where Pablo went for needles and then that protein powder. The needles part is right here on the map at Rose's tattoo shop so make your way in guys and grab said item to progress you will then need to come here guys for that protein powder part of this quest now to get in you have to use the back door but there is a crusher here who you have to take out first then you will need a circuit breaker to get inside now the only one i could find nearby requires a few roof scaling moments so follow where i go guys to get the circuit breaker Now to go back with this thing you have to throw it over the fences that will be in your way. Once you have placed it in, the shutter at the back of the shop is where you will get in. Once in, take out all the zombies in your way. Now within here, in one of the changing rooms, there are keys to a locked container here, so you may as well grab that while you are here guys. Then just pick up this item to progress. You now need to make your way to this green gang shop right here. Now to get inside, you need to open a locked gate around the back. The key is to this gate drop from a zombie out front, so kill away until they drop. So once you have the keys, head around the back and go inside. You'll see what's needed leading up the front desk, and there you have it guys. This one is now done. So now guys you need to make your way back to that missing persons board within the Ocean Avenue Hotel. Here there will be a few more for you to complete but the one you want for the legendary quest is Steve. Okay so I'll grab this and let's go find Steve. First up you need to head to Monarch Studios and to Warehouse 3. Start this process by grabbing this item on the bed. And then head to the kitchen set and grab the items you see me doing on screen now. Well, unless the zombies have started to real food, if Steve is still here, he was ready for the long haul. You then come to this point and you need to go into this trailer. 
Here you will find Sergio. You need to take him down to progress. From here guys, you now need to make your way to Beverly Hills and to this point right here, you will see Steve up on that balcony so speak to him. The quest is not over by the way. Steve requires you to lead three different types of zombies back to this point and then slay them. The zombies can be seen on the map and all you need to do is draw their attention, have them follow you to this point then take them out. Upon doing this guys, speak to Steve again and he will reward you this amazing legendary. And well guys, that is it. That is how you get the Kurei Katoa legendary weapon. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.